Peppa and George are playing with Pedro Pony. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. Pedro has slipped and lost his glasses. Nay, hey, where are my glasses? Without glasses, Pedro cannot see very well. George has found Pedro's glasses. Ooh! <laughs> Silly George. Here they are. Thank you. Pedro, why do you wear glasses? I need to. The optician says so. What's an optician? My daddy is an optician. He checks that you can see clearly. How? Does he look inside your head? <laughs> He does an eye test. Shall I give you an eye test? Yes, give me an eye test. OK. Hmm, interesting. Close one eye and say what you see. I can see George. <laughs> now close both eyes. Now I can't see anything. Hmm, can't see anything. Very, very interesting. I think you need glasses. Oh, do I? Yes. Pedro, home time. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Pedro. Nay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mummy, I need glasses. What? Pedro gave me an eye test and I need glasses. I'm sure your eyes are fine. No, Mummy. When I closed my eyes, I couldn't see anything. But no one can see anything with their eyes closed. Oh. What's this about needing glasses? Pedro knows all about glasses. His daddy is an optician. All right, Pepper. Let's take you to the optician for a proper eye test. <laughs> Let's go now. <laughs> George, would you like an eye test too? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is at the opticians. <laughs> Mr. Pony is the optician. Hello, Pepper. Please sit down. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? I need an eye test, please. Of course. Put these special glasses on and then look at the chart. Mr. Pony is going to test Pepper's eyes. Can you read these letters for me, please? OK. Um. A, B, C, D, E, F. Good. Now these numbers, please. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> and now these colours, please. Red, green, orange, blue, yellow, purple. Excellent. While I check your results, would you like to choose some glasses? Yes, please. How about these glasses, Peppa? They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about these ones? They're too big. <laughs> <laughs> How about these? Wow. I like these ones, Mummy. Yes, Peppa. You look fantastic. I look fantastic. <laughs> <coughs> Good news! Pepper has perfect eyesight. Oh, so I don't need glasses? No. But I really wanted glasses. Oh, hmm. I suppose you could have some sunglasses. Yes, sunglasses. Here you are. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> I hope it's sunny every day so I can always wear my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> the cycle ride. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and George are finishing their breakfast. Today is a good day for a cycle ride. Yippee! <laughs> Peppa and George <laughs> love cycle rides. Peppa has her bicycle. George has his tricycle. Mummy and Daddy have their tandem. What's that? It's our bicycle. <laughs> I sit at the front 
and Mummy Pig sits at the back. And we can put these two seats on the back for Peppa and George. But we want to ride our own bicycles. George is a bit too little. His legs will get very tired. But I'm a big girl. I won't get tired. It will be a long cycle ride, Peppa. Are you sure? Yes, Daddy. I'm sure. OK. Are we all ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Whee! I'm winning. It's not a race, Peppa. It's just a gentle bicycle ride. Yes, Daddy. But I'm still winning. <laughs> 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 now we're winning. <laughs> I don't like cycling uphill. Peppa, we won the race. No, you didn't, Daddy, because I wasn't racing that time. But now I am. <laughs> Can't catch me. <laughs> you cheeky little piggy. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We're having a cycle ride. <laughs> Hello, Doc. <laughs> ah, I'd forgotten how much I love cycling. <sighs> oh, I'd forgotten how much I hate cycling up hills. The ground is getting quite steep. <sighs> I don't like cycling up hills. But look at the beautiful view. Bye. Goodness, this is hard work. Mummy Pig, you're not peddling. Oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. I was just enjoying the view. <laughs> Peppa and her family have reached the top of the hill. <laughs> All Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Peppa. Hello. We're going to have a race on our bikes. <laughs> Peppa, do you want to race too? <laughs> OK. As long as we can race downhill. OK. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are going to race down the hill. Are you all ready? Ready! You can start when I honk the horn, like this. Woo! Pedro has set off too soon. Stop, Pedro! The race hasn't started yet. Sorry, Mr Pig. I was just letting you know that the horn sounded like this. Stop! Stop! Sorry, Pedro. That time it was my fault. The next time I honk the horn, you can go. Did you say go? I think so. Go! Go, go on, Pepper. But, Daddy, you didn't honk the horn. Danny Dog is in the lead. Wait for me. I'm very good at cycling downhill. <laughs> it is home time for Peppa's friends. Bye-bye, Peppa. Bye. Home time for us too, Peppa. Mummy, I'm tired. <coughs> All the cycling up and down hills has made my legs tired. Can I ride on your bike? But where will Daddy Pig sit? Um, Daddy can ride my bike. It's very nice. Oh, OK. <laughs> I love the tandem. Daddy, do you like my bike? Yes, Peppa. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> The toy cupboard. It is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me! Why are all these toys on your bed? That's where they live. Quickly, put the toys away in your toy basket. But the toy basket is full. Oh, so it is. Maybe you need a toy cupboard. Yes, I could make one tomorrow. <laughs> the last thing you made, Daddy Pig, was this shelf. I'm very proud of that shelf. But, Daddy, it's all wobbly. We use it as a slide for Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's buy a new toy cupboard. We can buy one now, on the computer. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is using the computer to buy a toy cupboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, which one shall we get? 
Can we have this one, please? That looks perfect. Mummy Pig is buying the toy cupboard. Congratulations. Your toy cupboard is ordered. Oh, goody. <laughs> it is morning and Mr Zebra the Postman has a special delivery. Post! <laughs> special delivery for Miss Peppa Pig and Master George. What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you built it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Pepper. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes. <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Peppa. Now I need four legs. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <coughs> oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> The instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh. Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> but there's no room for these last two. Oh, poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live? Why not simply order another easy-to-make cupboard? No! I've got a better idea. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But, Mummy, that's where they lived before. Yes, I know. That's why it's such a good idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nature Trail. Today, Peppa and her family are driving out to the countryside. Daddy, what will we see in the countryside? We'll see birds and trees and flowers and bees. <laughs> Dinosaur. No, George. I don't think we'll see any dinosaurs. <laughs> this is the start of the nature trail. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig, don't forget the picnic. Oh, oh, as if I would. Daddy, how do we know which way to go? Easy. The map says... There should be a sign showing the start of the nature trail here. Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig has forgotten the picnic. Peppa, what interesting things can you see? Just trees and trees and more boring trees. <laughs> Peppa, you're not looking hard enough. All right. I'll look really hard and I still won't see anything. Oh, what's that? Peppa has found some footprints. Whose footprints are these? Dinosaur! Oh, George, they're not dinosaur footprints. Let's follow the footprints and see who made them. Yes! <laughs> 
Shh. We have to be very quiet so we don't scare anything away. Yes, Mummy. George. Shh. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Pepper and George are following the footprints. Look. The footprints were made by a little bird. She's flown into a tree. Where? Here, Peppa. Look through the binoculars. The binoculars make everything look bigger. I can see one, two, three baby birds. Ah, oh, I wonder what they're eating. Yeah, They're eating worms. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little footprints? The footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes. But it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh! Who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. How are we going to find our little car? George has found more footprints. Ooh, what big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No, these are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car. And our picnic! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. The rain is washing the footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? And our picnic. <laughs> it's the ducks. They always turn up at picnics. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We haven't got a picnic this time. We can't find it. <laughs> I know. Mrs Duck, can you help us find our picnic, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Hooray! Thank you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> I love nature trails. Yes, and I love picnics. And the ducks love picnics. And the little birds love picnics. And the ants love picnics. Everybody loves picnics. <laughs> <laughs> It is evening. Peppa and George are in the sitting room, dancing to their favourite song. Daddy Pig is in the hallway, vacuuming the carpet. And Mummy Pig is in her study, doing important work on her computer. Oh. 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 Mummy, Daddy, it's gone all dark. And the music is broken. And my vacuum won't work. And my computer has switched off. Ooh. Mummy Pig tries the light switch, but the lights do not come on. It must be a power cut. What's a power cut? A power cut is when there is no electricity. What's electricity? Electricity is what makes everything in our house work. Will the electricity come back again? Yes. <laughs> But in the meantime, we need to find a torch. I think there's a torch in the cellar. OK. I'll go and get it. Will you be OK, Daddy? Oh, oh, I'll be fine. I can see very well in the dark. <laughs> Who put that there? Oh. Daddy, are you OK? Yes, it's just a bit dark down here. <laughs> oh, I've just remembered. I think the torch is in the kitchen. <laughs> uh -huh. Mummy Pig has found the torch. Can I hold the torch, Mummy? OK. <laughs> George, look at me. Pepper is making a funny face. <laughs> Don't worry, George. It's only Pepper. 
<laughs> oh, we'd better tell Daddy we found the torch. Daddy is still in the cellar, looking for the torch. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Daddy, we found the torch. Luckily, it was in the kitchen all the time. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> Now, we just have to wait until the electricity comes back. How long will that be, exactly? Um, I would say exactly a long time. Oh, but George and I want to do some dancing. I know what we can do. We can watch some television. Oh! It won't go on. <laughs> <laughs> the TV needs electricity too. Does it? Yes. yes. Oh, now what are we going to do? In the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know. I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy. Will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Pepper. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. Hit <laughs> <laughs> him. Welcome to Peppa Pig News with me. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Peppa. Good. Hit him. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> Peppa quite enjoyed the power cut. But she's happy the electricity is back again. <laughs> ice skating. Peppa and her family are going ice skating today. This will be fun. Peppa and George have never been ice skating before. Now, George, you won't be very good at ice skating. So just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Squeak. Hello, Mummy Pig. We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. Peppa's friends can ice skate very well. Peppa wants to ice skate too. Hello everyone. Hello Peppa. <laughs> Is this your first time skating? Yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on, then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Peppa. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops-a-daisy. Ho, ho. Silly Daddy! <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. 
<laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> push, push, fly. Push, push, fly. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, Pepper. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Pepper how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes. I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> what a surprise! George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! Very good, George. Now you need to learn how to stop. <laughs> well done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes. You did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Pepper and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe Zebra, the postman's daughter. Mr. Zebra, the postman, is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Zoe Zebra is with her daddy today. She has her own letters to deliver. Hmm. Danny Dog, Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit. Ah. Oh. Pepper and George. Just these ones left. Good. Let's get them delivered. Yes, sir. Post! <laughs> Pepper and George love it when the post arrives. We've got two letters. This one's for Daddy Pig. How exciting. Dear Mr Pig, please pay your telephone bill. Oh. What's a bill? It sounds very boring. <laughs> Bills are very boring. Mummy, is the other letter for you? No, this one's for Pepper and George. Wow! A letter for George and me. Please come to my birthday party. Love, Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra has invited Pepper and George to her birthday party. Yippee! <laughs> You need to write a reply to Zoe to tell her you are coming to her party. Can you help us write it, Mummy? Of course. Peppa and George are writing a reply to Zoe. What would you like to say? Dear Zoe. Dear Zoe. Um, I don't know what to say next. How about, we would love to come to your party. Kind regards. Pepper and George. <laughs> what colour envelope shall we use? The red one. Miss Zoe Zebra. And last of all, the stamp. <laughs> the letter is ready to be posted. This is the post box. Here are Danny, Susie, Pedro, Rebecca and Emily Elephant. They are all posting letters. <laughs> And here is Peppa with her letter. There. Now what happens? Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Did you get my letter about my party? Yes. And I've written you a reply. Oh, goody. My goodness. So many letters today. 
And this letter is mine. It is very, very important. Is it for me? Can I open it now? It is for you, Zoe. But it must be delivered before you can open it. That's how the post works. Oh. And with so many letters to deliver today, I'd better make a start. Can George and I come along too? Hop aboard, Pepper and George. <laughs> See you later. Pepper and George are helping Mr Zebra deliver the post. This is Zoe Zebra's house. This letter is addressed to Miss Zoe Zebra. Miss Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Zoe Zebra. Oh, all the post is for Zoe. That's my letter. Can I post it? Certainly. <laughs> Peppa loves posting letters. Mummy, look. All these letters are for me. Oh, amazing. Can you read it, Mummy? Dear Zoe, I would love to come to your party from Danny Dog. Susie Sheep's coming to your party too. And Rebecca, Pedro, Emily, Candy, they're all coming to your party. And this letter is from me. It says, we are coming to your party. Love and kisses, Pepper and George. <laughs> Everyone has arrived for Zoe's party. Happy birthday, Zoe. Wow, so many presents. You'll be writing lots of thank you letters, Zoe. Oh. And who's going to deliver all those thank you letters? You are, Daddy. <laughs> but I can help. <laughs> Cuckoo clock. It is early morning. Mummy and Daddy Pig are still asleep. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mummy and Daddy. What? It's time to get up. It's much too early. Don't you know what time it is, Peppa? No, Daddy. Our clock doesn't work. Oh, dear. Let's see if we can mend it. Ah, the old cuckoo clock. Why is it called a cuckoo clock? There's a little wooden bird inside called a cuckoo. I've never seen the cuckoo. That's because we stopped winding it a long time ago. The cuckoo got a bit annoying. Oh, can we wind it up again, please? <laughs> All right. Daddy Pig is winding up the cuckoo clock. There. Daddy Pig sets the clock to the right time. It is nearly nine o'clock. Daddy, can we see the cuckoo now? <laughs> You'll see the cuckoo soon. What does she look like, Daddy? Now, let me think. She moves her head like this. <laughs> and she flaps her wings like this. <laughs> and she says, Ahem, Cuckoo! <laughs> cuckoo! <laughs> what a cuckoo! noisy little cuckoo you are, George. Cuckoo! <laughs> Look, it's going to do something. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Silly George, you missed the cuckoo. <laughs> the cuckoo was really, really brilliant. She went cuckoo and you missed it. Never mind, George. You can see cuckoo next time. But you'll have to wait. Cuckoo only comes out once an hour. Waiting is boring. Come on, George. Let's play outside. George does not want to play outside. He is waiting to see Cuckoo. It is nearly ten o'clock. George has been waiting for Cuckoo for almost an hour. George, come and play. Mr Dinosaur wants you to play too. <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> George has missed Cuckoo again. Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> it is nearly 11 o'clock. Peppa, 
George! <laughs> time to see Cuckoo! Quick, George! You can't miss Cuckoo again! Oh. George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> George, did you see Cuckoo? Pepper and George love playing cuckoos. <laughs> cuckoo! Cuckoo! It is night time. Pepper and George are very sleepy. Cuckoo! <sighs> Pepper and George are asleep. <laughs> is it morning already? Uh, no. Time to sleep. Cuckoo is not very well. She just needs to sleep, like you and George. Good night. Good night, my little piggies. George, I know how to make Cuckoo better. We'll wind her up like Daddy did. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy are fast asleep. What? what? Mummy, Daddy. We've got something to show you. We've made Cuckoo better. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa's attic. Peppa and George are playing at Granny and Grandpa's house today. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Papa Egg. Oh, ho. hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. See you later. <laughs> Where's Granny Pig? Hello, my little ones. That is Granny Pig's voice. But where is she? Granny Pig? <laughs> Here I am. Granny Pig! Gangy Egg! <laughs> Why is Granny in the roof? We're tidying the attic. What's the attic? It's where we keep all our old things. Like you, Grandpa Pig. Ha ha! Things that are even older than me. <laughs> Can we help? <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> Granny and Grandpa's attic is at the very top of the house. That's the door to the attic. How do we get up there? I have a clever trick. Hello, my little ones. It's Granny. Come on up. <laughs> this is our attic. Wow. It's very full. Yes, it's full of old junk. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are here to help us throw some things out. Good. Let's start by throwing out this box. Oh, not that box. Do we really need this? That's my ship in a bottle. And this? That's my other ship in a bottle. And these? They're my other ships in bottles. I need them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to throw something out. Uh, how about this box? No, not my hats. <laughs> oh dear, we can't decide what to throw out I know, we'll let Pepper and George decide OK, <laughs> let's throw away this old case Oh, oh not, not that, that one. one This isn't just any old case It's a record player Ooh. And this was our favourite record Can we play it? Yes. Oh, oh, we haven't heard it for years. Oh, oh this takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pepper and George. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig is here to pick up Pepper and George. Hello. Where are you? Mummy Pig cannot find anyone. What's that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! Hello. We've been dancing to Granny and Grandpa's favourite record. Yes. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa played it all the time. Ooh. And here's the record I used to play when I was a little piggy. What is it? 
It's called Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. Not Birdie Birdie Woof Woof. You were always playing that. I thought we'd thrown that out ages ago. <laughs> the birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> the sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo, ba, woof, tweet, woof, ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> again, again. <laughs> the birds go woof and the dogs go tweet. tweet. Woof, tweet, woof, tweet, woof, woof, woof. The sheep go moo and the cows go ba. Moo, ba, woof, tweet, woof, ba, moo, tweet, woof, woof, woof. That was fun, but we were supposed to be finding some things to throw out. Pepper, what should we throw out and what should we keep? Hmm. I think you should keep everything. <laughs> swimming! Pepper and her family are at the swimming pool. Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. Pepper is wearing her swimming costume. Hurry up, George. Everyone's waiting. George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Pepper, George, let Daddy put on your armbands. <laughs> there, George. Your armbands make you look very grown up. <laughs> now me. <laughs> Good. Now we can go in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it is George's first time at the swimming pool. Why don't you put just one foot into the water? <laughs> Maybe you should try the other foot. <laughs> Maybe George should try both feet at the same time. Good idea. <laughs> 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 well done, George. But you don't need to splash quite so much. <laughs> Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Richard, hold on to this float and you can practice kicking your legs. <laughs> George, would you like to try kicking your legs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Very good, but try not to splash. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh dear, Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Not me. Sorry, Richard, I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy. I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, 
Don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> Don't worry, Pepper. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Jumble sale. It is a rainy day and the school roof has a hole in it. Children, we are going to have a jumble sale. The money we raise will pay for a new school roof. Hooray! Everyone has to bring something for the jumble sale. What should we bring? You can bring an old toy or something you don't use anymore. Meow. <laughs> the parents have arrived to pick up the children. Home time. <laughs> don't forget your old toys for the jumble sale tomorrow. Pepper is choosing a toy for the jumble sale. Pepper, have you decided? Um. You only have to choose one toy. Yes, and it will help pay for a new school roof. OK. I'm going to give Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr. Dinosaur is George's favourite toy. Pepper, you can't give away Mr. Dinosaur. Can't I? No. no. Oh, bother. Sorry, George. <laughs> Dinosaur. Why don't you give your old Jack in a box? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Now it's your turn, Daddy. What? <laughs> we must all give something to the jumble sale. I'm giving this hat, and George is giving this ball. <laughs> so what shall Daddy give? I know the television. Not the telly. No. It's too useful. Um, I know. Daddy smelly slippers. <coughs> no, too smelly. <laughs> I know. Daddy's old chair. But that's an antique. What does antique mean? Antique means it's very old and valuable. But you found it on a rubbish tip, Daddy Pig. It's worthless. It'll be worth a lot of money when I mend it. You've been saying that for ages, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'll give these lovely socks that Granny Pig made me. Good. <coughs> I've come to collect your things for the jumble sale. Here they are. Thank you. And would you like this old chair? Oh, most generous. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Mummy, you gave away Daddy's chair. Shh, don't tell him. He'll never notice. <laughs> it is the day of the jumble sale. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Peppa, how about this chair? It's a bit rubbish, but you can chop it up and use it for firewood. But it's an antique. Is it? Daddy said it's worth lots of money. Well, I never. I'd better put the price up. Bye. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. What did you give, Susie? I gave my nurse's outfit. I gave my parrot balloon. I gave my toy monkey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will miss my jack-in-a-box. Can I buy this jack-in-a-box, please? And I'd like this nurse's outfit. The parrot balloon, please. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, look what we've bought. All your old toys. We missed them. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I've bought. It's an antique chair. Oh, Daddy Pig, that's not an antique chair. It is. Miss Rabbit just said so. And it matches my old one. Yes, Daddy. That's because... Shh, Peppa. It is your old chair. What? But Miss Rabbit has just charged me lots of money for it. Fantastic news, everybody. We have just raised all the money we need 
for a new school roof. Hooray! Thank you, Daddy Pig. Ho, ho. You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Recycling. Mr. Bull, the bin man, is collecting the rubbish. It is early morning, so Mr. Bull tries to be as quiet as he can. But Mr. Bull is not very good at being quiet. Peppa and George are finishing their breakfast. What's that noise? It's Mr. Bull, the bin man. Hello, Hello, Mr. Bull. Bull. Mm. Hello, everyone. Must be off. Lots of rubbish to collect. Bye. Bye. <coughs> Bye. Mm. Mr. Bull has emptied the rubbish bin for us. Good. Let's clear up the breakfast things. Can we help, Mummy? Yes, you can. Let's throw this empty bottle in the bin. Pepper, stop. What? We don't put bottles in the rubbish bin. They can be recycled. What does that mean? All the things we can't use again, we put in the rubbish bin for Mr Bull. But all the things that can be used again are put in these recycle boxes. The red one is for newspapers, the blue one is for tin cans, and the green one is for bottles. Pepper, you have a bottle, so which box does it go in? Um, the green one. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Now it's George's turn. Can you find a newspaper for the red box? <laughs> George wants to recycle Daddy Pig's newspaper. Oh, oh, I haven't finished with my newspaper just yet, George. You can have it in a minute. Oh, all right. Here you are, George. <laughs> Newspapers go in the red box, George. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. Tin cans, bottles, newspapers. <laughs> recycle, recycle, we're going to recycle. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's recycle centre. We're here. Hooray! Hello there. Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good. Carry on. What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Wow. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. George wants to recycle the newspapers. OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. Let's go home. <laughs> oh, where's our car gone? Peppa's car has disappeared. Stand back! Miss Rabbit is recycling Peppa's car. <gasps> What? Is it really? Yes! Our car isn't old and rusty. <laughs> Silly me. I just love recycling. Yes, so do we. But we also love our little car. Yes, and our little car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Mysteries. Peppa and her family are watching their favourite television programme, 
Detective Potato. I am Detective Potato, the world famous detective. Ooh. Please help me, Mr. Detective. I cannot find my flower anywhere. Hmm. Your flower is on the top of your head. Oh, thank you, Mr. Detective. <laughs> that was easy. I could do that. <laughs> I'm sure you could, Peppa. Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a famous detective. <laughs> George wants to be a detective, too. If you're going to be detectives, you'll each need a hat. Detectives always wear hats. <laughs> now you look like two proper detectives. <laughs> and we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. <laughs> Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! <laughs> How does it work? You hold it in front of things, and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> Like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, <laughs> not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any missed stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish. Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Peppa and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> oh, oh, do you still want to be a detective when you grow up, Peppa? Being a detective is quite hard. <laughs> Next time, I want to be the one who makes the mysteries. Like you did, Daddy. <laughs> 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 the Time Capsule Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Today we are going to make a time capsule. What's a time capsule? A time capsule is something that will show people in the future how we lived. How? We'll put special things in this box and then we'll bury it in the school garden. Will it grow? <laughs> <laughs> no, Susie. It will remain in the ground for many years. Ooh. 
Now, what things should we put inside? A comic. Very good, Pepper. <laughs> Music. Very good, Susie. A toy. Nay. A coin. Stamps. Squeak. A carrot. <laughs> oh, you do like carrots, don't you, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All those are excellent things to show our daily lives. Madam Gazelle, what will the future be like? What do you think it will be like? I think in the future I will live on the moon. <laughs> and all my friends will come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will fly a space rocket. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Now we'll record a message for the people of the future. Say hello to the future. Hello to the future. <coughs> You're probably all living on the moon now. And going on holiday to Mars. And flying around in space rockets. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. <coughs> it is nearly home time and all the parents have arrived. <coughs> Mummy, Daddy, We've made a time capsule. Ah, Daddy Pig, you're just in time to help us dig a hole. Yes, of course. Daddy Pig is digging a hole in the school garden for the time capsule. There. Can we dig it up now? Oh, it will remain in the ground for many years. But I can't wait that long. Peppa, you are just like your daddy when he was little. Am I? Yes, I remember when I was his teacher. Did you teach my daddy? Yes, I taught all of your mummies and daddies. Didn't I? Yes, yes Madame Mademoiselle. <laughs> when your mummies and daddies were little, they made a time capsule too. Yes, we did. We buried it next to a little tree. Can we dig it up? Yes, I think we buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree. Oh, it was a long time ago. The tree has grown a bit since then. <laughs> <laughs> I found something. It's our old time capsule. Hooray! I can't wait to open it. <laughs> Stand back, children. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What do we have here? Oh, an old comic. That was my favourite comic. A tin toy? My favourite toy. Music. My favourite record. And a very old carrot. That's mine. What a good choice, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a videotape of your mummies and daddies when they were little. Ooh. <laughs> Who's the little piggy in the glasses? Oh, that's Daddy Pig. Oh, and that's me. Hello to the future. <laughs> <laughs> what a squeaky voice you have. <laughs> You're probably living on the moon now. <laughs> Silly little Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Making time capsules is such fun. <laughs> and finding them is even better. <laughs>